Okay, so the following video shows a clip from our live stream on Friday, which I used as an example in our Friday class as well. It shows how accurately you can predict moves in stocks if you have a good understanding of risk and reward and support and resistance. And so for more info, you can check out our website and I'll include a link in this video's description. So thanks for watching and enjoy this video. I might jump an AMR in here with 100 shares and just look to ride this one down, get out at 2060 if it does break that level. Looking at AMR in here using a risk level of 2063, 2060. It just had so much resistance above it. I thought a very obvious risk level of 2060, 2063, anywhere around there would have been nice risk. I just dropped 10, 15 cents. There's 39s. Yep. There it goes. We'll see if that risk level that I said previously holds. It's at 2058 now. Now the closer I buy it, like we went over in the risk to reward class, the closer I buy it to that previous resistance, the better my risk to reward is ultimately going to be in trades like this. And in this one, guys, remember what I said, that 2060 level was resistance. Where did it go when it bounced back up? 2060. Yeah, I don't want to see this over 2115, guys. And so everybody in our class, if you remember what I said about how you want to look at the previous history of the chart and if you could see that i said my risk would have been 2060. why was my risk 2060 because it bounced off of there here really a bunch of times here 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 and here over and over and over again it bounced off of 2060. and so when it bounced there where did it go it went to 2060 and then got rejected right back down that area is still holding as resistance if that makes sense I missed my entry with AMRN, but this was the move I was looking for. If you guys see it, beautiful move down to 2036. Risk of 2060 would have held beautifully. And um, yeah, I just missed the trade, guys. There's 2030s. Called this one out on the nose. And um, 2031 looks beautiful here. And so uh, frustrating I missed it, but gives me a little bit more confidence in my uh, trading. But. There's 28 on AMR. Regardless of whichever way the trade works, you just hold to my levels. That's all I can do as a trader. I think AMRN is going to bounce here at this arrow I just drew because why? It bounced off of there, there. And so I think it's going to bounce there. There's the predicted bounce, the next kind of evolution in this trade. Look, there, there's the bounce, called that exactly on the dot right there as well. There's a bounce up to 2040. It's going to look for that 2040 area to now hold its resistance because it was previous support here. There's weight there on 2102s. Beautiful, man. Looks good, brother. And like I said, I'm looking for 2040 to hold its resistance on AMRN here. Looks to be holding his resistance nicely. And then I want to see a bear flag back down to break this low, if it does that. But we'll see. It's down to 32s, 31s, 28s. There we go. Let's see if it breaks this low again. Uh, look at AMRN, man. Predicted that one perfectly.